Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to troubleshoot and hopefully solve your problem with USB ports not working. This problem is most likely software related. So for instance, when you connect something with a USB port, you hear the connection establish, but the device isn't detected. First things first, if you haven't already, reboot your PC. Reboot can do wonders at times, so it's always worth a try. We start with the easiest method. Go to the Windows search bar and search for Device Manager. Click on it. There are quite a few things we can try here. In Device Manager, you should see Universal Serial Bus Controllers somewhere at the bottom. Right click on it and select the first option, Scan for Hardware Changes. The scan should complete in a few seconds. When this is done, you can check for the first time if your USB ports are working once more. If they aren't, continue on to the next method. We stay in Device Manager. Click on the little arrow next to Universal Serial Bus Controllers. This opens a drop-down. Next, right-click on USB Root Hub and select Update Driver. We'll start with the first one. Click on Search Automatically for Drivers. If Windows 10 did find a better driver to install, make sure to continue by installing this driver. When it didn't find a better driver, you can click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update. The chance that this works is rather small, but we have to check anyway. We have one more thing to try when it comes to updating the drivers. Again, right click on USB Root Hub. Select Update Driver. Then click on Browse my computer for drivers. Select Let me pick from a list of available drivers. Here you want to select the USB Root Hub. Click on Next. Additionally, to be sure, right-click on the host controller device as well and execute the previous steps to potentially update the drivers. The name will most likely differ from mine, but it should have host controller in it. When this is done, check if your USB ports are working. If they aren't working, continue on to the next method. We can stay in Device Manager for the last time. With this method, we are going to reinstall the USB device. To do this, right-click on the host controller for your USB device. Select Uninstall device. A warning to make sure that you want to uninstall the USB. Click on Uninstall. Once you do this, there is a big chance that your universal serial bus controllers disappear from the device manager. If it didn't, or if you don't see a host controller on your screen, you can click on the other USB devices and select Uninstall device. After doing so, you need to reboot your PC. The USB device and drivers install automatically during the reboot. Hopefully your USB ports are back to normal. If not, we have one more method to try. For the next one, we don't need the device manager. We are going to adjust the power saving settings for USB ports. To do this, click on the Windows search bar and type in Control Panel. Open it. Click on Hardware and Sound, followed by clicking on Power Options. Next, select Change Plan Settings for your power plan. After that, select Change Advanced Power Settings. The power settings open. Click on the plus sign next to USB Settings. Do the same for the USB Selective Suspend setting. Make sure to set battery and plugged in, both on disabled. Click on OK to save the settings. Reboot the PC after changing these settings. After this, you can try if your USB ports are working once more. This concludes our how to fix USB ports tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Windows or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.